Is it possible to work in forensic pathology as a PA? Yeah. Is it worth it to get a pathologist assistant masters if your primary goal is to work in forensic autopsy? No. This is because the cost of schooling and there are easier ways to get involved in autopsy service if that is your primary interest. So you've probably heard from someone or read somewhere that pathologist assistants are involved in autopsies as part of their job duties. And you would be correct. We are involved in autopsy and often we are the ones performing the primary evisceration during an autopsy service. It seems like it's a complicated job that requires a lot of training and in some ways it is, but I still don't think it's worth it to go through a PA training program if your interest is only in autopsy. And this is because a PA's primary job is to gross tissue. We dissect surgical specimens, looking for areas of pathology to help give a final diagnosis to a patient awaiting results of their surgery. Only a small component of a PA's job involves autopsies, and because of this, only a small component of our training is devoted to autopsy. The rest is all devoted to grossing and surgical pathology. The PA job market also reflects this. Probably for every 100 PA jobs out there, there's only gonna be one job in forensic pathology or autopsy only pathology. Okay, that makes sense, but what else? The most compelling thing in my mind is that the people working at medical examiner's offices, the ME's office, these are typically OJT or on the job trained individuals and not certified PAs. So in other words, they didn't have to go through a master's training program, write a certification exam, or spend tens of thousands of dollars getting education that was required for them to get their job. It's not uncommon for PAs to finish their training program with up to $100,000 worth of loans, although this is more likely representative of US students. So if you can get that type of autopsy job without spending eighty dollars or $100,000, then in my mind, it's not worth it to shell out that kind of money if it's not needed. And for reference, the background of these on-the-job trained individuals working at Emmy's offices, these are typically people who have come from funeral home services or have some kind of criminology background, like a criminal justice program, for example. Ultimately, when working as a forensic autopsy tech at a medical examiner's office, you don't really need the kind of education that you'd get from a pathologist assistant master's program. Yes, you would definitely be qualified to work on these types of forensic cases, but in my mind, it's not worth the time or the money investment. If you are very interested in forensic autopsy work or just autopsy work in general, I think you have two options here. First is becoming an autopsy tech at a medical examiner's office. It requires minimal schooling, it's inexpensive, relatively speaking, and you get on-the-job training. On the other hand, if forensic pathology is very interesting to you, I think you should skip PA school entirely, head towards medical school, focus on a pathology residency, then have an eye on an autopsy or a forensic autopsy fellowship. From there, that'll definitely get you there. It's a much longer route, about 10 to 12 years, much more expensive. You will likely incur some student debt, but if you're looking to scratch that forensic autopsy itch, then that is certainly a way to do so. So did this change your mind about going through a PA program to become an autopsy tech or answer some of the questions you might have had? If it helped, just hit the like button or leave a comment down below. Thanks, I'll catch you next time.